syllabus statement 320 looking at family pedigree diagrams notice that in our diagram squares represent males and circles represent females if you have inherited a condition then the square would be filled in if you were male and the circle would be filled in if you were female so these would be in inherited conditions often these are diseases but not necessarily remember that the circles and squares represent phenotypes so these would be things that could be observed let's take a look at our diagram on the horizontal here we have a female and a male and we can see that the female has already got some condition and the male the square is open we would describe that as a normal male and the female seems to be affected by the inherited condition so that's an affected female these two parents show their children by this vertical line here so this is this person here is the daughter it's a circle of these two parents and the daughter's circle is open so therefore she's unaffected by the inherited condition this daughter and this man have children in the next generation and the children are indicated by this vertical line this one and this one so we can see that they have two sons and one daughter these children the two sons and the one daughter are the grandchildren of these two people here this son is an affected male so he has inherited the condition the daughter is normal and this other son here is normal these horizontal lines here and here and here represent the partners of these children and they in turn have children themselves which are represented on this line these of course are the great-grandchildren of these people here a normal female a normal male an affected male two normal females and a normal male